The Comanche raid on Fort Parker and the kidnapping of nine-year-old Cynthia Ann Parker is a fascinating story. Now we know that Cynthia Ann Parker was eventually assimilated into Comanche culture, but what happened to the four others who were kidnapped by the Comanche? Who were they and what exactly happened on that day? In 1835, several members of the Parker family moved into Texas territory, which at that time still belonged to Mexico. By 1836, the family had constructed a pretty impressive fort. It was about a full acre and it was well fortified. There was one problem though. The fort was built in Comanche territory. On May 19, 1836, the Comanche rode up to the fort. For whatever reason, the Parker family left the front gate open so the Comanche were able to ride right in. In little over an hour, the Comanche had killed Silas and Benjamin Parker, and the elder of the family, John Parker. They also killed Robert and Samuel Frost. They had also kidnapped Rachel Parker Plummer and Elizabeth Kellogg. Rachel Plummer's son, James Plummer, and John Robert Parker the brother of Cynthia Ann Parker were also taken away. The entire Parker family had paid a major price for trespassing on Comanche territory. The patriarch of the Parker family, James Parker, was a Texas Ranger and he knew the ferocity of the Comanche people. He nonetheless chose to put his family in danger. He would make five solitary trips into Comancheria looking for his family members. James Parker was determined to find his daughter, Rachel Plummer, his grandson, James Plummer, and the three other Parker family members. All of his missions were unsuccessful. So this is what happened. The Comanche traded Elizabeth Kellogg to the Delaware, and the Delaware ransomed Elizabeth Kellogg back to the Parker family. After two years with the Comanche, Rachel Plummer was finally found. She was traded to Comancheros, then she was eventually ransomed back to a family in New Mexico. She would eventually be reunited with her husband and her father, James Parker. Rachel Plummer's odyssey is pretty incredible. She even writes a memoir about her time with the Comanche. How much of her story is believable, I'll let you read the book and you can decide. Soon after she was found, she became pregnant again. Whose baby it was, nobody really knows. Rachel Plummer would die giving birth to her child. Her baby would die a couple days later. The two boys taken, including Rachel Plummer's son, resurfaced at Fort Gibson in 1842. By this time, they didn't even speak English any longer. John Robert Parker's father, Silas, was one of those killed on the day that he was taken but he was able to reunite with his mother, Lucy. The rest of his life is shrouded in mystery. A few years later, his mother, Lucy, sends John Robert back out to Comancheria to find his sister, Cynthia Ann Parker. Legend has it, he does find her. By this time, she's fully assimilated into Comanche culture and she has no desire to return to her birth family. In fact, there were several attempts to ransom back Cynthia Ann, but she didn't want to go back home and the Comanche didn't want to give her up. At this point in time, she was a Comanche citizen. She even had a Comanche name. She was now referred to as Nadawa. She would also marry a very powerful Comanche chief named Peta Nakona. Cynthia Ann Parker, now Nadawa, would go on to give birth to three children, including the future Comanche chief, Quanah Parker. The conclusion of their stories are incredibly fascinating. If you want to know more, let me know in the comment section.